2020 budget a bit further. Now, accessing credit by small and medium scale enterprises is expected to be easier following the introduction of three credit provision avenues by government. The Finance Minister, Ken Oforiata, made this known while presenting the 2020 budget statement and economic policy. Access to finance and the high cost of credits continue to impact negatively on the operations of small and medium enterprises, SMEs. The situation has been attributed largely to inadequately resourced institutions as well as some macroeconomic policies which discourage granting of credit to SMEs due to its high risk. The Association of Ghana Industries, for instance, has revealed that almost all proposals by its members to secure funding from the Export, Trade, Agriculture and Industrial Development Fund were denied in 2015. The Venture Capital Fund, among others, which was established to provide funding for SMEs, has not also lived up to expectation since its institution over a decade ago due to its over-reliance on budgetary support from government. According to the Finance Minister, Ken Ofriata, such challenges will be addressed through the introduction of the Enterprise Credit Scheme, the National Development Bank and the Mobile Quick Loan Scheme. The key institution to anchor this shift will be the National Development Bank, the Enterprise Credit Scheme and the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund. The private sector in Ghana continues to borrow at over 25% while their competitors elsewhere are borrowing at, at least 25%. One way to support them is to ensure a reasonable level of lending rates. Mr. Speaker, government is therefore working together with the banking community to launch a 2 billion credit and guarantee scheme in 2020. Economist Edu Oususa Kodia says the availability of such initiatives become worthwhile when the tax burden on SMEs are reduced. If the lending rate is as, is at, as high as 28%, when your, your, other, your colleagues, other countries are doing single digit, I want us to get to the single digit interest rate mm. so that businesses can borrow at a lower cost, right. you know, expand their businesses, employ people because government alone cannot employ Ghanaians. Okay. So everything necessary to boost private sector development, private sector participation in the growth process where more, more jobs could be created. For others, government should ensure vigilance to prevent the system from collapsing like others introduced earlier. From time to time, the GRA must try as much as possible, you know, to organize, you know, workshops for the SMEs, you know, trying to educate them about how it is incumbent on, on them, you know, to pay taxes so that uh, government can get in the much needed uh, revenue to do its uh, developmental work. All three schemes will be operational in the first quarter of 2020 with the National Development Bank commencing operation with a seed capital of 250 million cities and the Enterprise Credit Scheme with 2 billion cities.